If in front of you put a bottle of perfume made from 13 girls, its strange fragrance can control every woman. What would you use it for? Today's story is about a perverted guy killed young girls just to make human perfume. In the slums of Paris, Tom is born in a foul-smelling fish market. He is mistaken for a stillborn child by his mother. And he is ruthlessly abandoned. Surprisingly, Tom was very much alive. His cries were heard under the fish stall. He was only found, according to the law. His cruel mother was hanged. Tom was sent to an orphanage. This child was like a cockroach that could not be beaten to death, though five years old and unable to speak. But it survived. Tom has an uncanny sense of smell. He can even find the fruiting tree by the smell of rotten fruit on the ground. But because the orphanage was short of money, the director had to sell Tom. He came to work in the leather factory as a laborer. In the leather factory, people had to work hard. Tom in the inter of work, he would look across the river at the bright lights of the rich. When he grew up on a delivery trip, Tom went across the river where he longed to be. He felt wonderful. He felt everything with his sense of smell. The aroma of the food, the smell of the florist, the passion in his heart was rekindled. Just then, a special smell attracted him. It was Jenny who was selling apricots. She gave off a wonderful aroma. Tom followed the girl by the smell. Rounded shoulders, soft hair, the warmth of her hands. For Tom, it was a complete and utter cheese. He actually took the girl's hand and buried his nose in the palm, smelling the wonderful smell. Jenny was terrified. She pulls her hand away and runs away. This left a disappointed Tom. He has a natural obsession with the scent. So he chased after the smell and made a decision that he would regret for the rest of his life. In that chase, Tom accidentally killed the girl. He did not panic, but also eagerly rip off the girl's clothes. As the girl's beautiful body was revealed, Tom inhaled every inch of the girl's fresh skin. He wanted to take all the scent for himself. After the pleasure was over, Tom found the scent that made him so excited was passing away. This moment is the beginning of Tom's original sin, but it was also the moment when he found the meaning of his life. An evil thought sprouted in his mind. He had to learn how to preserve the smell. A chance encounter. Tom makes a delivery to Joe, a declining perfume maker. He demonstrates his great ability to identify fragrances. Without any training, he created a perfume that made Joe forget about it. Joe decided to take him on as a student on the spot. He was paid a high price to the owner of the leather factory. The owner died shortly after receiving the money. With the help of Tom, Joe's perfume business has turned a corner. The income was even higher than in his heyday. They got along very well. Tom learned how to make perfume and what it really means. The youth was a master incense maker, but now he threw a pile of metal and glass and a cat is thrown into the distiller. Is he making some kind of elixir? In Tom's memory, the smell of Jenny's first love always echoed in his mind. He wanted to find a way to preserve human body odor, but the boss told him it is impossible to extract the human body to preserve the smell. Such bad news made Tom collapse instantly. He just fell ill. The boss told him, in a town called Grass, it might be possible to achieve the effect he wanted, but only if he wrote the recipe for 100 perfumes. To get him to leave, 100 perfume recipes was a piece of cake for Tom. He quickly completed his boss's mission. He set off on his own with the recipe in hand. Joe went to sleep, but in the dead of night, the old house suddenly collapses. Joe was killed. Meanwhile, Tom was on his way to the incense-making town. He saw a carriage moving slowly. The noble maiden in it has the perfect fragrance. In order to preserve the fragrance, after entering the perfume factory, Tom with his special talent for scent, soon mastered the rules of perfume refining. To treat it like a young girl, gently rubbing the fresh petals with oil. As the petals wilted, its fragrance is then absorbed by the oil. Finally, the oil is put into a container and distilled, and you get the fragrance. Having learned the ropes, Tom began to explore. He soaked the girl in the jar. However, the distilled fragrance had no flavor. This made Tom feel a little frustrated, but he wouldn't give up easily. At night he paid a prostitute. He then covered her body in grease. The girl thought Tom had some special fetish, but when she saw the knife in the bag, she immediately panicked, returned the money in a hurry, said she was done with it, and tried to get dressed and leave. Tom would not let her go, knocked her out straight from behind. Everything afterward was according to what he had learned. With the step step by step, this time, he managed to get a small ball of essential oil for girls. The fragrance was so refreshing, even the dogs could not resist licking him. But this small bottle of essential oil was not enough to make a perfume. His teacher had told him a good perfume is divided into three nodes, front, middle, and back. Each node requires for essential oils. In total, 12 types are needed, and in the Egyptian classics, it is written that a perfume with a thousand years of fragrance does not dissipate. There is a 13th essential oil, but no one knows it yet. Now Tom knows. This 13th is the body fragrance of a young girl. In order to collect the bottle full, Tom started to become crazy. To make a bottle of perfume, he killed 12 girls before and after. Tom wanted the world to remember his perfume. So the last perfume, he couldn't help but think of the noble maiden. How to extract the body odor of young girls. The first thing is to kill the target girl, then take off her clothes, shave her hair, Wrap it in gauze coated with gel. Wait until the gel absorbs the body fragrance. Then collect all the gel together. Finally distilled and purified from the slim glass tube. A few drops of liquid condensed out is the precious girl's body fragrance. During this period of time, one after another, 
a young girl disappeared. The town was on edge. The army patrol stay at night, trying to find the murderer as soon as possible. As the most beautiful girl in town, the noble father was very worried. He knew right away that those executed in the city were just scapegoats. The real killer was still at large for the safety of his daughter. He finally decided to take Abby and leave the city for a while. No sooner had they left, Tom with the dog's nose was sent out and followed closely behind. Nightfall, the noble father personally took care of his daughter's door. But the next morning, when he opened the door with the key for a moment, he could not accept his daughter lying naked on the bed. Her hair was shaved. She wasn't breathing. This beautiful girl was also made into perfume. Tom's final 13 fragrances were finally completed. Soldiers also finally caught him. It turns out that the police found 12 pieces of clothing. They were neatly arranged in the square. They corresponded to the 12 murdered girls. The murderer who stirred up the city was finally caught. The whole city cried out for the death of this demon to avenge the deaths of 13 young girls. But on the day of the execution, a magnificent carriage drove into the execution yard. Tom was dressed in a gorgeous blue dress. He stepped down gracefully from the carriage. The people around him fell to their knees in front of him. Thirteen incense can actually confuse people's minds. In the prison, he put the perfume on himself. Now even the executioner knelt down and shouted that he was not guilty as he stood on the execution ground. Let the scent on his handkerchief drift away with the wind. The crowd in the square instantly saluted him. And so Tom was acquitted of all charges and was considered a god. He could have done whatever he wanted to do with the perfume on his hand. But Tom's decision surpassed everyone's think. He went back to the fish market in Paris. The place where he was born, Tom poured an entire bottle of perfume, pouring it all over his head. The scent of the fragrance instantly spread to all corners. People in the darkness were like seeing a plate of delicacies. Everyone swarmed around him. He should have died in the fish market where his mother left him. In the end, he chose to return to the place where his sin began. He ended his sins with his own hands.